Hello and uh, welcome, friends, to another epic episode of Vintage Fountain Pens. And I say it is an epic episode because I have uh, uh, arranged in uh, the desk in front of me different models of uh, German fountain pens starting from the 1930s and arriving at uh, approximately 1997. I will try to present them to you and we will see how the design, the German design has uh, changed in time. I will start with an iconic fountain pen from the 1930s, this beautiful, beautiful Pelican 100 Black. It was uh, one uh, of the first models that uh, had this piston filler mechanism. And we are talking about the year 1930. In uh, that time, they were pioneers in uh, the German uh, fountain pen industry with this filling system mechanism, which uh, became very popular in Germany during the end of the 1930s, 1940s and uh, the 1950s. This is a beautiful, beautiful model. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, its original nib and feet, but I wanted to show you the beautiful, beautiful piston filler mechanism and the transparent ink window. It had an open nib, had the back an ebonite feed. Maybe I will find some images on the internet and I will leave pictures on the screen for you to have an idea of uh, this beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. Okay, let's uh, leave this aside and let's move on to another fountain pen. This time it's a Caveco Original 52 from 1937. A beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. This time we have a button filler. So um, although it is an, uh, not a well-known fact, they were quite popular, the button fillers in Germany. Although the intention is uh, that uh, the piston filler was um, the preferred filling mechanism for Germans, look at this Kavec original with this uh, button filler mechanism. The cap on screws and it reveals this beautiful, beautiful looking gold nib 14 karat gold nib a beautiful fountain pen of course being a button filler we don't have the famous ink window but uh, it is not a problem let's put this aside and let's move on to a product from the 1940s this is a matador express and um, you can see the ink window. It is a piston filler with a blind cap. Okay. This unfortunately doesn't have uh, its original nib. It is a warranted 14 karat nib, golden nib. I believe it is a replacement nib. And also I think it uh, lacks the clip. Although it is a small size fountain pen, I believe that this original had a metallic clip. Let's leave this aside and let's um, continue with a rather famous fountain pen producer, Shonaken. This is a model from uh, the 1940s a beautiful model it comes with a steel nib but uh, quite quite a good uh, steel nib 
the Germans were famous for their qualitative steel nibs, a beautiful ebonite feed. It has the ink window and the piston turning mechanism. Speaking of the 1940s, I have a Pelican 100N from the 1940s. It is uh, quite similar in design with the Pelican 100 from the early 30s, but this has some improvements in the materials. And uh, this one has a nib, as you can see, a beautiful, beautiful gold nib. The classic ink window, the piston filler. Now we are moving on to the next decade. This is a real iconic fountain pen. It is the famous Mont Blanc 146 Meisterstück. This model has imprinted on the gold ring masterpiece because this is a model made specially for the export. This is dated around 1952. It has this beautiful brown logo. Original it was white, but it developed this patina in time. The material is called casein. This is a beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. Although you can't see it, it has an ink window. It has a piston filler mechanism, but a special telescopic filling mechanism. The only mechanism ever patented by Montblanc. A beautiful, beautiful gold nib. And on the back, my favorite little thing, this key slope type feed, which is specific to the late 1940s and beginning of the 1950s Montblanc models. I have also for you an economic fountain pen from that period. It was intended for school use and uh, we have here the famous Montblanc Monterosa. This is one of the um, rarest models that came with a gold nib. The model is 042 G. G stands for the gold nib. Also a visible ink window and a piston filling mechanism. I will leave this aside. And we move on to a fountain pen that um, it's in my collection in its original uh, cardboard box. It isn't in a good shape with all the original papers. And this time is the Luxor model. It is um, also a piston filling mechanism with a blind cap. And uh, we have uh, here the piston. You can see it on the transparent ink window. It needs a little bit of uh, lubrication. Also a gold nib, an open nib, luxure and 14 carat. Okay. Now we move on to an iconic fountain pen from that period, from the 1950s. And this is one of my favorite fountain pens. It is the famous Caveco Sport. You can see this faceted cap, beautiful, beautiful faceted cap. And you also can see the transparent ink window and the beautiful, beautiful nib of this fountain pen. Let's give it a zoom because it certainly deserves to be shown off. The beautiful Caveco nib. This is uh, an oblique medium nib as it is stated here. The model is 12 and it's from the 1950s. Also a model from the 1950s, a pelican. Look at this beautiful, beautiful pelican. And I think it is, uh, yes, it is a 140 model. 
as you can see imprinted on this gold ring and the classic German from the 1950s the torpedo shape the trims the gold plated trims the ink window the piston filling mechanism the opened nib made out of gold and also the ebonite feed so another classic from the 1950s this time i have for you some um, obscure brand lamar made in germany but uh, it proves my point look torpedo shape ink window open nib and a blind cap which um, conceals the filling piston mechanism i have also a fountain pen a mont blanc fountain pen the 254 model classic piston filler okay i have now a caveco and this is a caveco dia 802g with a beautiful open nib also transparent ink window and a piston filler mechanism this is a little bit broken here but it's integrated it's not a fake cap so another product from the 1950s interesting you know that in the 1950s the germany was split in two sides the west side which was under the rule of the allies and the east side which was under the control of soviet union this is an interesting product of the 1950s from the east side a makebach 340 this was a producer that in the 1950s was nationalized and included in the Marcant factory so the communist authorities decided to reunite all the independent fountain pen manufacturers under one umbrella or under one big uh, factory and this is a makeba so prior to 1955 before the nationalization and the uh, interesting model we have uh, the transparent ink window we have a steel nib and we have a blind cap which hides this piston filling mechanism interesting enough it has uh, this ending in uh, three layers of the plastic cork okay this was a product also made in germany of the east side now we are um, entering the 1960s with this uh, beautiful beautiful lamy we have here this model of lamy with its semi hooded nib with its interesting ink windows in an oval shape and its piston mechanism also in the same period we have a tendency for mont blanc also to use pressure fitted caps and this semi hooded nibs again the ink window is present and the piston filling mechanism this is a beautiful model 22 and almost an identical model but slightly bigger let's uh, zoom out to show you so a slightly bigger and um, thicker fountain pen the mont blanc 22 which is almost identical 24 which is almost identical with the 22 this uh, beautiful uh, shape and this feeds uh, which reminds us of the famous parker 51 so it was a trend in the 1950s for the german fountain pens to have um, semi-hooded or hooded nibs and um, 
the same trend we we can see in this Cavecodia, which I bought in its original um, case with original papers, and we have um, the model V3 and OF an oblique F nib. Uh, so the model V3 stands for the semi-hooded nib. Okay, we turn and we can see the beautiful semi-hooded nib. And let's give it a zoom because I want to show you the markings of this nib. So we have 14 carat on one side and 585 on the other side. So when you see a Caveco with the letter V in front of the number model, you know for sure that you are dealing with a hooded or semi-hooded nib. Next, I have a fountain pen and uh, this time is not a German fountain pen, but uh, I must mention it because uh, I don't have in my collection the famous Mont Blanc Diplomat or the famous Mont Blanc 149 model. But this is a copy made by um, a manufacturer in Romania, my country, in the 1970s and it copies the same uh, Park uh, Mont Blanc 149 from the 1950s. It has its own gold nib, Flaro, 14 carat. You can see the similarities with the feed from the 149 model, including the ink window and the same piston feeding mechanism. Of course, the Mont Blanc model is much more rounded. So this dome was cut here and here. But this is a quite similar model with the Parker 149 from uh, the Germans of the 1960s. And I thought it would be a nice uh, looking uh, fountain pen. I'm sorry, but I don't have the 149 in my collection. It's quite an expensive fountain pen. Maybe someday I will buy one. The same trend also from um, Caveco and uh, the trend is V. So like I told you, V12 OM oblique medium, V stands for the hooded or semi-hooded nib. And again, 14 carat and 585 on this beautiful, beautiful little Caveco spot. So you can see the evolution of design and characteristic of the German fountain pens. And speaking about evolution, look at this beautiful, beautiful Lamy 2000. This was uh, a product of uh, 1967, and uh, it's quite a beautiful looking fountain pen. And not just only a fountain pen, but a real work of art, of industrial design, minimalistic, functional, and in the same time beautiful by its simplicity. The famous Lamy 2000, which is still made today without um, major modifications. I have a Mont Blanc, this time also a design of the 19. 70s this time so we are passing to the 1970s it has this semi-hooded nib it's a beautiful beautiful gold nib and interesting it comes with a ink cartridge so you can see now that um, because of the high competition of the ballpoint pen even luxury producers like Mont Blanc had to adapt to the new times. We also have the design of the Pelicans from the 1970s. This is an M30 fountain pen with this beautiful roll gold cap. 
we can see the ink window here and uh, this interesting nib it maintains the piston filling mechanism okay let's move along to another product from uh, the middle of the 1970s and this is a geha 722 model quite an interesting model we have this beautiful 14 karat gold nib and those ink windows quite quite large ink windows this is also a piston filler and the beautiful product of the 1970s let's move on i have also a mont blanc 320 fountain pen a piston filling um, a fountain pen it has a slight uh, window not so functional here but um, it is what it is and a beautiful gold nib we move on to a more economic fountain pen from pelican the pelican steno this is a product from 1983 it has a plain steel nib it has this ink window but surprise surprise we have a cartridge filling fountain pen so no piston and going with the trend we have a beautiful Mont Blanc Meisterstück 144. This is a model from 1983. It has a pressure cap. It has this beautiful one tone gold nib and uh, this quite plain looking feed. And this is an element of identification. It is from uh, approximately 1983. It can use uh, international size ink cartridges or ink converters. So I had uh, a reserve ink cartridge in this one. This is a quite uh, affordable fountain pen from the famous luxury line Meisterstück. And I think it is the most affordable uh, fountain pen you can find it at decent prices and it's a good uh, good uh, fountain pen we move on to a reform calligraph fountain pen a classic black fountain pen with gold trims we have um, the famous ink windows this is an interesting steel gold plated nib BB Italic Reform Germany. You can see the tip of the nib and uh, the two interesting breathing holes. Of course, this is a piston filler. And uh, now we have uh, reached the end of uh, our fountain pen journey into models from Germany. And in this beautiful metallic box, I have the last two fountain pens that I want uh, to show you. We are uh, beginning with an iconic fountain pen. This is the famous Pelican M800 Sauvron, made in um, the first year of production of this fountain pen. And I know this fact because uh, only in 1987 and in 1988, we can see a 14 karat gold nib this is a broad nib, a beautiful, beautiful nib. And also this plating at the end of the turning knob, which is specific to the models from the first years of production. This is the classical German fountain pen. Open nib, gold nib beautiful beautiful ebonite feed but in this case it's a plastic feed no problem gold trims and elegant metallic brass piston filling mechanism of course the pelican is well known for the beak of the pelican and the beautiful beautiful logo with the mother and this time with uh, you can see two cheeks it's feeding her younglings. 
Okay, speaking about the logo, you can see that this logo is painted only one cheek and this started in 1997. This is an M150 from 1997. Also classic, ink window, open nib, this time a steel nib. You can see steel nib and piston filler classic filling system so um, this was my little journey and i hope um, it was an interesting journey also for you in the world of german fountain pens if you liked this uh, episode please subscribe and like my uh, video i wish you to have a nice day Thank you for your time. I hope you've learned some new things about German fountain pens. And uh, bye bye.